My name's Lazarus West. I graduated from North High School and I have a younger brother named Lawrence West. Hello, my name is Lawrence West and I'm Liza's younger brother. In a way, we're so similar. Of course, we have our differences. I am probably smarter. I'm probably stronger. Can he hear me? He's probably a little bit more competitive than I am, especially when it's against me. He always wants to win. <laughs> He's definitely a, a best friend of mine, <laughs> yeah. We are from the West Colfax area. My mom was working two jobs when she was trying to take care of me and Lawrence when we were little. We didn't always go to school because I guess my mom wasn't taking us all the time. She was always busy working and stuff. Lazarus was probably five when we broke up. So she had him for two years, and I would just be the, the weekend father. It was a Christmas. I can't remember exactly what year, but she had dropped us off at our grandma's slash dad's house. She was supposed to come pick us up in three days, four days, something like that. And uh, we would call her, call her. She never answered, never answered. We only had one set of clothes, a pair of shoes. The state had called my dad, saying that they were going to take us away. But my dad fought for us and told them no, that he, they're not going to take them away from him, and that he wants to keep us. Living at my grandma's, me, my dad, and my brother actually all used to sleep in the living room. My dad would sleep on the big couch. Either I would sleep on the little couch or my brother would, and one of us would sleep on the floor. I got used to it, and like, I kind of loved it. It felt like home. This is the first time they ever gave me like nice blue shoes. Like they they brand new, you could tell they are. He'll hit that with a spare. Bet what? Oh! Oh! That's two in a row! Good job. Wow. Almost. Me too. We got very close. It wasn't raised with a lot of money, but they were raised with love and a lot of, a lot of um, support. I could tell, like every single day, like my grandma, and my dad were always trying, you know, kind of motivating us in a way, in a sense too, to like go to school and live a better life than this, you know. I says, any school is what you make of it. I was like, everything's mine over matter. I'm from Denver. I was born and raised here, and I actually graduated from North High School, too. He came in. He was just very friendly and very outgoing. It wasn't easy to, like, ignore him. You know, he had a presence. Miss Sierra, she was very welcoming when I first met her, you know. You could tell that she was very motivated to help push students to go to college. He's probably one of the students that year that spent the most time in the Future Center. So he worked really hard. At first, I was very undecided. And I thought about it and I said, why not mechanical engineering? I really love outer space. There's so many things we have still to learn about it. And I feel like the way I could contribute to something like that is through a mechanical engineering degree because I could build a rocket or something cool that will help people on the moon or astronauts anywhere, you know? Lazarus has an opportunity to work with Ball Aerospace through a mentorship program and I know it's really competitive, but I think he has a good chance. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hello? Oh, what? 
I just want to jump up right now. That's, that's, oh, that's so awesome. That's his dream job. That's Lazarus' dream job. That's like all he talks about. How are you? Hello, I'm doing good. What made you want to get involved in the like ball mentorship program? I think that's just my way of you know trying to pay it forward, you know, to you know to your generation, and then with the hope that you know when you go work for ball, you can you know pay it forward to that next generation too. Lawrence wants to be a doctor. And then Lazarus gets on his butt and tells him, hey, you better go do your community service arts. You're not gonna bank it into these colleges. And he's like, well, then I'll just do something easy. I'll just go to the school of mines and become an engineer. <laughs> That's how they talk to each other. <laughs> I'm Lawrence. I'm at MC Squared Inter. Hi, Lawrence. That internship helped me like find my perspective of like what it is to be in the medical field. Uh, his BP is 122 over 61, heart rate 75, O2 97, and temp was 35.9. A lot of people underestimate him. He's smart. <laughs> really smart. How many you said? Two MLs. Okay. He's a quick learner. He's let me uh, pester him with a lot of questions, and obviously he can handle me being bossy. Oh my, oh my, oh my God. During this senior year, I think I'm going to spend my whole life at the Future Center. Did you submit the Gates Scholarship on time? Yeah. It was due yesterday. <laughs> I have a lot of essays to write, and Ms. Zulema will help me write them, apply to colleges. So, like, call this one Johns Hopkins. Yes. Lawrence is looking at a lot of really challenging schools like Stanford and Johns Hopkins. Yeah, we're going to aim high and see what happens. I think, like, a lot of times students don't realize like having two parents and having a stable home and like having like certain privileges. Like, it does give you a leg up on everybody else. And like, so he's fighting through all these other challenges and he's still able to rise up. I thought about going to see you, Boulder. That's like my backup. <laughs> he's trying to one up me. <laughs> I'm starting my junior year up at CU Boulder. I'm finally living on my own with four different roommates. You know, I have my own house. My family came and helped me out. He worked really hard and he, yeah, he earned everything that he got. Honestly, if it wasn't for her, I really don't feel like I would be up at CU Boulder. I'm really proud of him. He went through a lot, but look where he is now. Mechanical engineer. <laughs> I hope he'll come back and just share his story with students that maybe have doubts in themselves or think they were handed this really tough life situation. He's gonna do really great things with his life. It's really awesome. Being up at Boulder has definitely changed my view of the world. It makes me realize how huge the world is. It's not just a little house in Denver. It's actually a really beautiful place filled with a lot of nice people. Thank you, Denver Scholarship Foundation, for all your help and support. Thank you, Denver Scholarship Foundation. Like that? Like that, perfect. <laughs>